the 27th National Youth Day. It is celebrated as a birthday of Swami Vivekananda. His original name is Narendra Nath Dutta. Okay? Born in the Kapalpata in the year 1863, 12 January 1863. Okay. So he is a religious, he was a religious teacher, a reformer. Author of books, but I see a lot of quotes, books on Swami Vivekan, you have met a grand it. Okay? He was an Indian monk also. And a lot of people follow his quotes, his spiritual uh, disciplines. Okay? And is a youth icon. The motive of celebrating this, uh, this National Youth Day is he is inspiration for the younger generation. He as a uh, younger generation, you will have a big role to play at the National Party. Uh, we are going to run a uh, PPT or video and you will be able to know what exactly uh, Swami's ideas were there, how you can follow his ideas. So, to invite uh, Tata and Arya to enlighten us about the Good morning everyone. Thank you for gathering here on this National Youth Day, also known as Swami Vivekananda's birthday. This Jayanti is celebrated every year on 12th January, celebrating Swami Vivekananda's Jayanti. This day celebrates energy, enthusiasm and potential of young minds. Today, I will reflect on some of the timeless values of Swami Vivekananda and how they resonate with the spirit of the youth. Swami Vivekananda, a visionary leader and spiritual luminary, emphasized the importance of self-realization and the pursuit of knowledge. In the context of National Youth Day, these values are more pertinent than ever. Our youth stands at the crossroads of innovation and tradition, facing challenges that require both resilience and wisdom. Vivekananda advocated for the idea that education should not only focus on academic excellence, but also on the holistic development of an individual. He believed in nurturing not just the intellect but also the heart, encouraging young minds to be more compassionate and empathetic. As we celebrate the National Youth Day, let's remember that true progress lies not only in being knowledgeable but also in being compassionate and socially responsible. Swami Vivekananda also spoke passionately about the power of unity and the need for a harmonious world. In the interconnected global world that we live in today, his message resonates profoundly. The youth of the world must come together, transcending all boundaries and differences tackle the pressing issues that our planet faces. Unity, as Vivekananda envisioned, is not merely the absence of conflict, but a celebration of our shared humanity. Moreover, Swami Vivekananda believed in the transformative potential of the youth. He believed that the youth was the driving force for social change. On this National Youth Day, let us be inspired by his vision and recognize our responsibility to build a future that is more inclusive, just and sustainable. The energy and passion of the youth can be a catalyst for positive transformation if guided by the values that prioritize the well-being of all. In conclusion, as we commemorate National Youth Day, let's draw inspiration from the timeless values of Swami Vivekananda. Let's foster a generation that embraces knowledge, compassion, unity and transformative power within each individual. 
the youth has the potential to be the architects of a brighter and harmonious world. Let us empower them with the value that will guide them towards a future of purpose, understanding and collective prosperity. Thank you. video which we played there on the last 26th National Youth Day. Same video I'm going to play. So it covers the entire uh, uh, what is how Swami Vivekananda knows personally, how we develop the things. Everything is explained very well with the quotes and all. Okay. So please go. I want absolute silence while go watching this. Take some uh, reflect on the thoughts what has been uh, put up in the video. I want you to reflect and make, make it in use. Very important is you have to imbibe in yourself these qualities. Okay, which will make you happy. At the end of the whatever you do, you know, happiness is very important. You have money, you have everything. But you cannot service the people to zero. You should be able to come to the help of the poorest, poorest people. Then you are you will see the happiness coming to you. Okay, this opportunity we are making this uh, national day. Coming the younger generation, uh, know their duties, okay? know their responsibilities. 2010, every year celebrated as National Youth Day. It is celebrated in honor of Swami Vivekananda. And in, the, in this particular year of just 39 years, he died in 92. Vedanta. That's one of the six Hindu philosophies. Vedanta considers the Vedas as the ultimate source of information. It emphasizes a knowledge of jnana as opposed to sacrifice of karma. Vivekananda believed in inquiring about Brahman or the ultimate reality. He believed in moksha or liberation. He shunned religious superstition, idolatry, even the heavy handedness of priests. Here's what he once said, and I'm, I'm quoting. 
Kicking a football will take you closer to the divine than any amount of prayer. Interesting thought. Vivekananda's idea of religion or Hinduism was a combination of Eastern spiritual, spirituality and Western material progress. He promoted women's education, he campaigned for equality and empowerment. He fought against child marriage. And while all of this may seem easy and only the right thing to do in the current Twitter generation, remember this was a man campaigning against something that was considered a just social practice back in the 1880s. Vivekananda was a social reformer. He shot a fame in 1893, that was the year of the World Parliament of Religion, or what we now know as the Chicago Assembly. Swami Vivekananda was representing Hinduism. Instead of talking about prayers or rituals, he spoke about tolerance, he spoke about universal acceptance. He said Hinduism accepts all religions as true. He quoted the Gita, he recited hymns from boyhood. He spoke about India's cultural diversity. He criticized sectarianism and bigotry. Although his speech was quite short, it left the audience absolutely captivated. One newspaper described him as, quote unquote, an orator by divine right and undoubtedly the greatest figure at the parliament. Vivekananda went on to deliver lectures across the United States. In many of them, he promoted yoga. He urged his followers to practice yoga. Till date, he remains the face of yoga in the Western world. This is what he said, through practice comes yoga, through yoga comes knowledge, through knowledge, love, and through love, bliss. He was also a voracious reader. It is said that when in Chicago, he would borrow large volumes of books from the library, and then he would return them the same day. The librarian once asked him, why he was borrowing books if he did not bother reading them. And Vivekananda told the librarian apparently that he had finished reading all of them. He had his own definition of Hindu self-pride. He believed in cultural nationalism. He believed in self-sufficiency. He believed that through muscles of iron and nerves of steel, India would one day retain its lost glory and pride. This philosophy impressed and inspired him. Mahatma Gandhi credited Vivekananda with increasing his love for his country a thousand fold. Subhash Chandra Bose called Vivekananda the maker of modern India. Today the world is celebrating the birth anniversary of this great thought leader. In India, the day is marked as National Youth Day. Earlier today, his Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid his tributes to Swami Vivekananda. And this is what he says. His life, his was a life devoted to national regeneration. He has motivated many youngsters to work towards nation building. Let us keep working together to fulfill the dreams he had for our nation. Which is also important all around the world. As we conclude our exploration of Swami Vivekananda's wisdom through the presentation and video, let his timeless teachings serve as a guiding light on your journey. Embrace the spirit of fearlessness, self-realization and compassion. May you find inspiration in his words to lead a life of purpose, transient boundaries and contribute positively to the world around you. Remember, as Vivekananda said, Arise, awake and stop not until the goal is reached. Thank you students for your attention and may your path be illuminated by a profound insights of Swami Vivekananda.